All right, have and have not fans, you know the drill. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. Now we are going to sit back and watch the trailer for Till Death Do Us Part. We're going to come back and break it down. Oscar, he's dead. Oh, yes, she did that. There's only one place to go when you're pushed to the edge. I pushed him out of a window. Damn. Get ready. You have something that belongs to me. What is it going to take for you to leave me alone? Your death. An episode so explosive. This will be big. So lethal. I want you guys dead. If you don't watch it live Tuesday night, it will be spoiled. Alexa! Alexa, no! Alexa, no! Oh, boy. What an episode now. Moles was one of the most shocking episodes of the entire series for me in terms of the ending. I mean, up until that point, it felt like a standard episode, which it wasn't bad. Honestly, there were a few nitpicks here and there that I had. But once we got to the last few minutes, basically from when Jim confronted Oscar in the hallway to going, you know, pulling a Harvey Weinstein on Gia and then flipping back to the hotel, when we have Oscar encountering Candace in the elevator getting pushed out of a window my gosh like let me just say that I remember doing the live stream on Instagram and Facebook last night I mean Instagram and YouTube after Oscar got pushed out of the window my ears shut down I was in complete shock I saw the uh, preview for next week at the end of the episode then during the commercial break I saw the trailer but I just wasn't able to actually listen and focus on it because I was shaking for you know just the cliffhanger itself and what we saw but you know obviously I sat down listened to it a few times and you know got some notes here but wow so first off we're starting off with the fact that it looks like Candace is actually in shock over what she's just done I mean if I'm not mistaken this is the first time she's actually killed someone I mean herself not not in a orchestrated plan not um, watching somebody die because remember she watched Quincy die she didn't kill him um, she worked together with Mitch and the Malones to get Warlock killed but she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger so if I'm not mistaken this is the first time Candace has legitimately murdered someone and the fact you just tell by her body language how she's talking with RK, the fact she's like, I pushed him out of window. He's like, damn. It, and then I believe in a later scene, she's actually like sitting on a bed and um, literally shaking. And I can see why. But what really confused me was the episode synopsis for Moles was Candace goes back. Uh, what is it? Candace resorts to her old schemes to get some quick cash in order to skip town. I think that synopsis should have been used for the next episode till death do us part because that seemed to fit more with that you know the after murdering oscar she has to skip town so she gets quick cash the way she you know is used to doing which could be why she's calling gia on her phone later on in the trailer and i think that happens right after jim and gia come from upstairs they're going down and it looks like we have like you know cops paramedics and everything on the scene uh due to the fact that a man just fell to his death out of a window and yes oscar is dead there is no Tyler Perry revival. Oscar is dead. Philip Boyd actually did a video, a nice farewell to all the fans and Tyler Perry and whatnot on his social media. Oscar is dead. There is no, he fell on a car or something. He's alive. He is dead, folks. He is gone. Just a smear on the pavement. No pun intended. I wonder how Landon and his team are going to clean this one up. Literally, remember, they're trying to make sure all of Candace's schemes fail and make sure she... Uh, lives up to the role of first lady and all so I have no idea how she's going to get off of this murder I do not know that's another video for another time but I'm uh, moving on into trailer it looks like you know after Jim and Gia come from downstairs after you know he did what he did um, he's going to the jail and talking with Benny about the inheritance but there is a brief scene where it looks like he runs into um, Justin at the hotel and the reason I say the hotel is because later on in the trailer we also see that Justin walks in um, on Jeffrey's hotel room and RK and Jeffrey are both in there remember RK wants to rob Jeffrey because he has a nice watch and everything assuming he has a lot of money now Jeffrey isn't broke but he isn't like 
David and Veronica rich. So he might have a few thousand dollars, but I wouldn't imagine him being a millionaire. I mean, as an heir to the Harrington fortune, yes, but in terms of his own money, not so much. But also look at the fact that RK is most likely portraying a homosexual just to rob Jeffrey, just like he did to that old man with the $10,000. Now, also tweeted about this, you know, RK better watch out because it's one thing to be messing with Jeffrey, but what if Veronica finds out and he's lucky Justin isn't there and lo and behold, he does show up next week. Then Jeffrey's like, what do I have to do to be rid of you? And he's like, you know, just die. And I'm like, okay, is that hinting at something? I don't think Jeffrey's going to die though. And uh, let's see. So then Jim runs into Justin, which I'm assuming might happen. Bef I can't decide if it's before or after Justin walks in on RK and uh, Jeffrey due to the fact that Jim is most likely going to, you know, come downstairs with Gia, see Justin at the elevator, then go to jail to visit Benny about the inheritance. And it also looks like Jim is looking up. We see some man's neck or chin. I'm guessing this is Marty. Because it looks like he does have some scruffle on his neck, which we know George, the DA, is pretty, you know, young, clean-faced, Asian-looking guy. So, I believe Marty might be in the room when Jim is confronting Benny. And Hannah might be in there as well. I'm not 100% sure. But it is interesting because I believe this will be like the full first conversation between Jim and Benny. We've only seen them together briefly. And that was at the season finale when... um. Uh, Hannah and Benny and Catherine are going over to the funeral home to set up the arrangements for Quincy Jr. And they briefly talk to each other like, who are you? Oh, I'm Benjamin Young. And it's like, oh, yeah, Jim Cryer. So that was the only time they really talk. But this looks like a full conversation. And I really want to know how this is going to go. This is going to be interesting. Now, talking about the jail, it looks like Catherine actually tells the truth that, you know, her son was the one that put Vinny in the critical care unit. And... Hannah asked, you know, how long have you known? So this does not look good because I really can't. I don't know what to say about that. I really don't know what to say. I mean, I feel like those two are going to have a falling out again due to their son's actions, just like back in uh, season two after why it hit Benny. But Catherine didn't admit to it. But this time, Catherine did. It, the strain in their friendship might mirror the strain that, uh, David and Jim had back when David found out about Wyatt being raped in jail thanks to Veronica, but he didn't tell Jim what was going on. And then when Veronica was being choked out by Jim, Jim confronted him about it, but he's like, I didn't have all the evidence straight. And then those two's friendship was on the rocks for quite some time. I feel like the same thing's going to happen here with Catherine and um, Hannah, which is interesting because if you remember correctly, the whole reason for Benny borrowing the money to begin with is because he didn't trust Catherine. And to be honest, this might actually show that Benny was right in some regards due to the fact that now Hannah might be questioning her trust in Catherine uh, due to the fact that her son is in jail because of what her son did. But Catherine didn't tell the truth yet. Interesting. But then later on, we see Catherine in the um, re um, well the psych ward of the hospital talking with Wyatt who's pulling an awesome Amanda impression talking about how he wants his parents dead Catherine's like yeah I thought you feel that way and then the cop comes in and yeah it looks like Wyatt is actually going to pay for his crimes which is interesting because does this mean Benny is free to go does he get the $45,000 back um, also does that mean the Malones will find out that Wyatt was the one that attacked one of their own We'll have to see. I don't think everything is going to get resolved in this episode, but we'll just have to see. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Yeah, it looks like Sarah's on the phone with Jim, most likely. And then it looks like she's looking up in surprise. And then we see George. I'm guessing George is walking through the door of her office and she's shocked. So maybe she gets found out that the fact she gave evidence away to the person they're trying to put behind bars. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to save the best part for last because you all know you. I, I know what everybody wants me to talk about. Uh, Catherine reveals the truth. Oh, Veronica's hitman. It looks like David gives Erica a new car. She loves it. Gives him a kiss. And it looks like the hitman is actually, you know, disguised as like a um, power line worker. Dang. I really do not. Know. I saw like five of them today on my way back to Lynchburg. 
working on the power lines, but I can't think of the name, the proper name, electrician. Is that it? But basically, you know, he's scouting out the area and then he tells Veronica that he gave her a new car and she wants that to be the big explosion. Because remember in the last episode, she's like, I want explosions. I'm just like, Veronica, bitch, the 4th of July was last week. What the hell are you talking about? But yeah, it looks like she wants to go all out with this, um, Death. I mean, she wants them both. I mean, I'm shocked that she wants Erica and David dead. So I'm guessing that the guy is going to rig the car. So when they go out for a drive, boom, they're dead. That's it. Which is interesting because Tyler Perry said it might be three or four deaths. So Oscar is one. It looks like you know who might be jumping off the roof to next week. And then Erica could be three. And then four could mean Erica and David. I don't know. That's pretty good the way he uh, threw that at us. But if I'm not mistaken, that covers everything in the trailer except for the ending where it looks like Veronica is going to be coming over to Hannah's house. Because I do believe in the episode, uh, what was it, 343 Memorial Lane or something like that? I think I tweeted that out when she said it. So I'm guessing that's the address because it looks like she has the mental doctor going over to Hannah's house to mentally examine Melissa and determine whether or not she be, needs to be institutionalized. Hannah won't even let her get through the front door. So those two are having a yelling match. And I'm guessing maybe, just maybe, um, Melissa answers the door and then Hannah shows up. Maybe Melissa, I think that Melissa would have to hear what's going on before she goes to the extremes of going up to the roof because she did tell Hannah, of, you know, Veronica comes after me again, I'm going to steer my boat. So it looks like she's going to be steering her boat right off the roof. What if she jumps off the roof and lands on Veronica like, you know, the house did in The Wizard of Oz on the Wicked Witch of the, uh, what was it, the Wicked Witch of the East? And then Veronica's legs will curl up and her shoes will be left behind. Interesting. But yeah, um, ah, Melissa, it looks like she's definitely going to do it. And this is sad, very sad. These trailers, my guys, like, I'm not going to lie, after watching, like, I went to bed around 11.30 last night, I had to take Tylenol because I feel like my blood pressure was up, my head was pounding because of the shock of that one episode, so I know if I do go home next Tuesday to watch the episode, I'll definitely have, you know, Tylenol and whatnot on standby, but overall, next week till Death Do His Part does seem like a very intense episode following up from Oscar's fall. What's up with these characters? So, Let's see. Oscar fell out of a window. Melissa may or may not jump off the roof, which I do think she is based off the tones of the screens. Where like, Melissa, no, no. Yeah, it looks like she does it. And based off the trailer, the way it's set up, it wouldn't surprise me if that is the cliffhanger ending. I mean, either Melissa jumping off, because when you think about it, remember that Hannah and Catherine, well, Hannah is at the jail. Um, it, Catherine goes out to her car and cries. She might go back in and tell the truth and then goes to the uh, mental hospital to, well, actually the psych ward to get Wyatt, you know, arrested by the police. Then Hannah would have to come back home, which I'm guessing maybe Benny does get out, maybe. And, you know, then that's when Veronica shows up and then the whole Melissa thing happens. I'm I, I'm going to put money on the fact that that is the finale of uh, the cliffhanger. Now, in terms of whether or not this is the season finale, I doubt that. But some people have been telling me on TV Guide, the 24th of this month is a repeat. I don't honestly, I don't think that next week is the finale. Like I said, I could be 100 percent wrong. But Tyler Perry did say that in the next three episodes, Three to four characters will die. So I don't think he would show us that message before last night's episode, which is one. Next week will be two. Maybe the 24th is a break and then they'll come back on the 31st with the finale because on May 1st, they said three months worth of episodes. So three episodes, well, three episodes is not a month's worth. So I do believe that the finale, the finale is either on the 24th or the 31st. I do not have confirmation, but that's the only way that makes sense to me. So with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Are you looking forward till till death do us part? Or are you like me where you're still shaken by the cliffhanger of moles?